So what's power and privilege? Well, power and privilege, they go hand in hand, basically. So without power, you don't have any privilege. Without any privilege, you can get power, but it wouldn't be as accessible to it. See, power, everybody can earn it, but privilege, somebody can be ascribed, ascribed to it, and it can be given at birth. Um, I feel like you do. Um, with great power comes great responsibility, as uh, Spider-Man will say. And I don't know, if you have blessings in your life and you see everybody around you with nothing, I don't, like, it's, it's like you almost have to give that to them. Just because like you just having all that that power and and money, wealth or whatever, and you just only holding it to yourself. And it's other people in the world but you. And I feel like if people will, like take away that selfish mindset of keeping stuff to themselves and distribute it to everybody else, everybody would be happy and everybody would have money and power and privilege. I can say like segregation for a hundred and twenty percent is one. Um, Especially in the east side of Buffalo, like 80% of people there are minority people. So it's like a disconnect from leaving east side of Buffalo and being segregated and then going outside and seeing all the, the how they keep up with it and all the stuff that comes with segregation, with, which is like privilege, like we were talking about earlier. Well, to keep it short and simple, it's like night and day. So. Um, yesterday, for a matter of fact, I was just driving down the street and right now we're going to have an ice storm and it's just, it's undrivable, sliding everywhere, it's just terrible. But as soon as I go to, I say, let's say the north side of Buffalo, all the roads, yes, hurdle, right now, for example, all the roads are paved, everything is clean, it's like they keep up with it more in a way, other than the minority groups that are in the east side of Buffalo. Solutions is basically just learning the history about racism and trying to not to repeat it again. Um, people are stuck up in their ways, but people need to learn how to learn about new things. And like we were saying in the, in the circle, people can, you can learn something when you're younger, but when you're older, you're, you're able to have your own mindset and your own ability to think and have your own opinion about racism. So I, I feel like if you learn about it, you can definitely change it, for sure. An ally is somebody who helps you through thick and thin. Even when it's you at your, your, your bottom or you at the up, it don't matter if you're in trouble or <clears throat> if you're good. An ally is somebody who will help you at any given time and somebody who you can benefit from but you can also, they can also benefit from you as well. Because, well, first of all, if you're my friend and you have power and privilege, we're gonna try to flip that into something bigger than what you have. So everybody can be powerful and privileged. And actually, if everybody privileged, then we can just exclude the word completely. So, yeah, I feel like he should, they, that would definitely be his responsibility to do. And I would definitely push him to do so. Love everybody equally. We all bleed the same blood. We all have to use the bathroom at the end of the day. We all have to drink water. So, I don't know, just, and just, when you see somebody, not, don't try to look at them as their stereotype, but as the person they are, which is hard to say because of the society we live in, but just don't judge a book by its cover. Read the book.